Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and today I'm going to tell you my seven tips, advice, photography tips uh, for February 2024. So let's start. So an extra tip for free, uh, if you put LED light in a shelf like this to light your uh, uh, lenses, switch them on. If, you, if it's not switched on, it doesn't work. If you check the first part of the video, this is really dark. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, seriously, first tip. Well, a few weeks ago, a friend of mine calls me and says, Eric, I'm watching your video, but you have a lighting problem. It gets really dark and then more light and then less light, all this. Check it. That's strange. And I was waiting for my daughter, Pino, at school, and uh, I check on my uh, smartphone. I didn't see any problem. So I call him back and says, uh, why did you watch my video on your computer or on the smartphone? No, on the smartphone while I was doing some exercise. Okay, well, uh, maybe you have the automatic uh, luminance or lighting uh, on your smartphone. He checks, says, no, no. And then he calls me back, says, no, I realize that sometimes I've just uh, moved my phone like this. I don't see the same intensity. And that's right, depends on the quality of your uh, smartphone or your computer screen. If you sideways or top or bottom, you don't get as much light. So it's really important when you're going to edit, even more, more important, make sure your uh, screen is parallel to your eyes or uh, perpendicular to your, uh, to your nose. Maybe I don't know you say that, okay? It's really important. And uh, so you look at front. Second, uh, deactivate all automatism. It's important you edit in a stable ambient light so uh, it doesn't all the time put more light or less light. It's really important. And also some uh, smartphone like my uh, iPhone has, and I think computer also has true tone. When it's getting dark, uh, to make sure it doesn't burn your eyes, it goes a bit warmer. Deactivate that. That's fine if you're just a spectator looking at the picture. But if you want to edit to uh, have precise color, or let's forget this, uh, take this out, okay, deactivate it, okay? So really important, look facing the screen really well, parallel to your eyes, okay, parallel to your face, or perpendicular to your nose, okay? And deactivate all this automatism, okay? Advice number two. Well, a friend of mine had a friend who was a photographer and his son also, and the son decided to go and work uh, in the United States of America and his father said listen guy I work there I'm going to tell you one thing that is really important in the US there are two kind of photographers I don't know if it's true okay there are two kind of photographers the one that use gaffer tape and the one that are not photographers and that's true that actually this tape is so handy so helpful in many situations it's like some kind of fabrics that uh, sticks easily cuts with your hand like this one on this guy I, I cut it wrong okay but it doesn't matter cuts with your hand you can stick it several times it's really really uh useful uh sometimes for some sometimes something may fall and break you can stick it together okay yeah you can see it works okay and uh it's really practical or you have some uh, cake ball hanging and you want to stick them to the tripod whatever have this tape always. You can uh, get it in a hardware store. It's not very expensive, but it's really useful. A really fantastic accessory that every photographer should have in his car or at home or in the studio, wherever you need that, okay? Advice number three. A couple of weeks ago, a friend calls me and he says, Eric, something wrong with my camera. Uh, when I record video, before it made one big, one large uh, file, and now it makes many, many small files. And that's really strange. I said, that's strange. It sounds like your card is formatted in FAT32 that actually cannot have uh, files larger than four gigabytes. How did you format that? He says, no, in my computer. That, what, in where? In your computer. He says, yes, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you're right. I said, I'm formatting in FAT32 instead of uh, extended FAT, I don't know what it's called. So no, 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 forget about computer. You should always format your memory card in the camera because this is the only way to make sure it is formatted as the uh, camera maker wants it to be formatted. This is the only way, okay? So always, always format your cards in the camera, not in the computer. Second, 
many people they check the picture on the screen and then they erase they delete the one they don't like don't delete any picture or any movie in your camera why two reasons the first one well three reasons the first one uh, sometimes the, the index table can get corrupted so you erase one picture and then you cannot see any any picture because the index table is corrupted so you will need a special software to recover your picture in your computer as long as you didn't keep shooting otherwise it will uh, override the space and that's finished okay forget it so don't erase for that reason second because uh, sometimes uh, a picture looks wrong because it's a small screen but if you would sit in large screen you would see it's okay the picture was fine was good you liked it so don't erase anything there because you're not sure of what you're seeing on a small screen and third reason because of manipulation error maybe you uh, delete the picture you think is wrong it's a bad picture and you just deleted the good one so forget it don't delete any picture in your camera no movie in your camera okay it's really important unless you don't have any more space anymore and you need to keep shooting well in this situation you don't have any other choice but otherwise don't do that you will have time to do it in your computer you don't even need to delete just download them delete what you don't like and then you don't delete in the card you just format the card again in your camera okay so that's it really important tip number four when you do a series of picture like let's say do a product photography imagine doing a portrait of me right now here we are in a stable situation lighting wise color wise all this go full manual aperture speed iso white balance why because otherwise the camera with some automatism may have a slight difference sometimes a big difference between pictures and it's going to be a nightmare to match all of them in post-production so when you're in a stable situation go fully manual it's really important okay and uh, i actually noticed it with this camera the uh, lumix s5 mark ii add the white balance in automatic and when you start recording it takes like five seconds to get the right white balance so when i was recording several languages i was cutting and then i would see that i would start warm cooler and then warmer again and then cooler and then warmer again i went on a, a manual a white a white balance also not just speed and iso and this full manual i don't have this problem anymore so if you're in a stable situation full manual advice number five still speaking about a series of pictures if you get to do a series of pictures in the same situation try to do a white balance when you start you get a gray card like this here you have two cards the dark one is for exporter this one is for white balance okay so you just show this one then the first picture you make it of the card okay make the picture so here you have two solutions maybe your camera lets you make a manual uh, white balance it tells you to pick a picture where the white card was and it will uh, create the white balance and fix it for the rest of the pictures or if you don't have this you make the first picture with this and then in Lightroom when you have all your pictures in raw file you actually uh, get the, the paper on the yeah the, the dropper uh, on the white uh, card yeah, th that you see or the gray card you see in the picture and it makes white balance and then you apply it to the rest of the picture and actually many photographers they go with this hanging from their uh, neck and let's do a do wedding in the church well, I make first picture of this, then I'm at the dinner place, other picture, then in the well, I don't know, garden, whatever, other picture. So this way, this mini series, I get the right white balance for the whole mini series. Okay. Advice number six. If for you, color is a really important matter because you do product photography or fashion or whatever. I actually made a video about this uh, tool. I'll give you the link here. Use a color checker. Okay this way the first picture you make you make a picture of this in the situation okay and you will create a profile in your computer and all your pictures will match the same colors okay so that's a, an investment it's not that expensive either okay but still get a color checker and actually this one has both thing uh, one side is color checker and the other side is uh, the white balance and exposure card okay so 
get this that's a great investment if for you colors are important advice number seven uh, we very often forget about cleaning and protection material okay gear for self or for the ambience uh, place everything I've got a room that soon I will present with a new floor and uh, if someone walks in with his shoe from the street it will stain the white part it's easy to clean okay but still if I'm going to make pictures there I don't want to be uh, photoshopping uh, this or cleaning all the time so two options get your shoes off and go on socks okay or barefoot doesn't matter but well, you see okay or you could get these small uh, yeah it's like small uh, gloves but not gloves like a shoe cover uh, surgeon use that okay and it's not very expensive have this and tell people to put this on the on the to cover their shoes with this so they can if you have some visit they can walk uh, this part and just keep the person who is posing without this obviously for the picture and uh, you have less stain and problem to control okay but also you should get more things cleaning things uh, have those small uh, serviettes you can actually uh, clean your hand because maybe you had to move some stone or whatever or move a car or something dirty and then after you have to pick your camera clean your hand with that okay for this you have it also have a rubbish bag why because maybe you see some rubbish you can pick it up okay or your own rubbish or maybe you want to clean some can or whatever that you see but also maybe i wish it doesn't happen to you but your camera falls on the floor many parts get everything and put them in this rubbish bag not to throw the bag away but to make sure to have everything together all the small parts you can find make a knot or with a small thread you can close and you have everything together so so it's important or maybe a kitchen paper also to clean things like this always have this with you in or in your car or uh, close to you when you go shooting because it's really useful so that's it these were my seven tips photography tips advice for february 2024 i hope you liked it thank you for watching if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel small button down here so small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website erigibo.com if you have any question you can leave a comment below also leave you links of money on amazon also leave you links of everything i reviewed by kf concept sandmark and flashes by westcott more affiliated links and also a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.